Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you a few techniques to fit a difficult drive belt to a washing machine. Now, drive belts on washing machines have to be particularly tight to stop them from slipping. So they're stretched from the motor up to the drum pulley. If you have a look at these two belts here, one old and one new, if you take a look at the numbers on the belt, these are the belt manufacturer's reference numbers, you can see that they are exactly the same specification of belt. But one has been on the machine for a few years, and the other is a brand new belt. Now, if I stretch both belts out as far as I can, you can see that the new belt is very tight compared to the belt that's been on the machine for a few years. Now, if we were to refit the old belt, that would be reasonably simple, but of course the new belt being tight makes it much more difficult, especially on a machine such as this, where you have a small access panel at the back. But we're gonna show you a few techniques about how best to fit one of these belts. Now, safety first, always disconnect an appliance before carrying out any work. The next thing I need to do is to remove the top of the appliance by undoing the two screws that hold it in place. With the top off, the next thing I need to do is to remove the access panel at the back. With the access panel at the back removed, here we can see the motor and the motor spindle where the belt attaches. And here, where this bulge at the back of the machine is, is where the drum pulley is. And as you can see, this panel cannot be removed. But if we have a look at the top of the machine, now what I've done is just wedged a piece of wood under the rear side of the tub to pull it away from the rear of the machine a bit so we can clearly see the drum pulley here. Now, if you are putting your hands inside a washing machine, it's a good idea to wear a jumper to protect your arm, or a really good idea is to uh, put an old football sock on your arm to prevent any scratches or injuries. Now the first technique we're going to use is to drop the belt behind the drum pulley, attach it to the motor spindle, and then stretch it round the drum pulley simply using brute force. So put the belt on the motor spindle again. Then you can put your belt into position on the drum pulley and using the movement of the pulley, stretch the belt across and try to put the belt in position. Now, if you look at this side of the drum pulley, you can see that the belt is trying to come off and I don't have the strength or the space in order to hold it in position. So let me show you another technique. I'm just going to lift our brand new belt out and for this technique I'm going to be using an old washing machine belt. I'll then put the belt down behind the drum pulley. So put the belt on the motor spindle again. Now what I can do is give our new belt a stretch using the old machine belt and then using the leverage that this belt gives me work it around the drum pulley so using your thumb to hold the belt on the pulley pull on the old belt and stretch the belt round As you can see, the belt is still trying to come off the pulley. So what I'm gonna do now is move on to technique number three. Now, the third and final technique is to use a cable tie. Now, what I'm going to do is to attach the drive belt to the drum pulley using the cable tie. So 
I've just put the belt on the drum pulley. Then what I'm going to do is put a kink in the cable tie so I can reach the end. Feed it behind the drum pulley and out and then tie it nice and tightly so it holds the belt very tightly in position. Then what I can do is release the belt from the drum pulley so that it can reach the motor spindle at the bottom. So put the belt on the motor spindle again. Now all I have to do is put the belt on the drum pulley, turn it as far as it will go. Then what I can do is move around to the front and turn the drum to get the belt on fully. Now the belt's nicely in position. All I need to do now is wind the drum back a bit so I can cut the cable tie. With the cable tie out of the way, I just want to make sure that the belt is on the worn part of the drum pulley. And you can adjust its position by moving the drive belt on the motor spindle forward or back using the grooves on the belt as required. So, now I can fit the rear panel and the top back on. So there we have it, techniques to fit a difficult drive belt to a washing machine. Remember, spares and accessories for all the appliances around your home can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching. <laughs>